Next to enlist the help of the repair shop is Claire and her son Rafe, who's inherited a family treasure and the passion that goes with it. What have you got for me? I have my my mum's dad's old twin set. Your grandfather's is that? Yeah. What's your name, buddy? Rafe. Rafe. I'm yeah. Dean, mate. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. How old's this? About 70 years. 70 years old? Hang on one second for me, Rafe. Need you up at eye line, Rafe. <laughs> Jump up there for me, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. How's that? Better? Yeah. And am I led to believe that you're lucky enough for it to be your train set yeah. now? When was the last time you saw it working? I don't think I ever have. So to see it working after you know, we can't get it to work yeah. would be absolutely wonderful. I spoke to my uncle recently and he said Dad would have this set up all over the, their shared bedroom so, and yeah. they would play with it nearly every day. So, Rafe, even since we've been here, have a look at you, mate. You've gone <laughs> wild. You're a real tinkerer yourself, aren't you? We've got a few in-house tinkerers ourselves. Do you want to meet one of our tinkerers? Yeah. Paul, this is Rafe. How are you, mate? Good. That's good. <laughs> He's the master tinkerer of trains. Chief engineer. Chief engineer. Chief engineer. Wow. Yeah. I work on a friend's train set oh, wow. and I'm the chief engineer. <laughs> <laughs> you got me a special hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How cool so is that? He plays yeah. the trains, I fix the trains. You so fix the that's trains. our deal, yeah. This is my favourite. This one here? Yeah. Wow. Because it looks like the Flying Scotsman. It's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah. What is the Flying Scotsman? I'm out of the loop here. Oh, it was a famous fast train in the times of steam. The fastest steam train in the world. What's the fastest train? Um, a bullet train. Uh, how fast? About 200 to 300 miles an hour. Yeah, miles it is an hour. Yeah, about 400 k's plus. Yeah. Wow. What about if Paul takes you over to his desk and you yeah. have a bit of a play? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Rafe. We're going to have a sit and have a look. <laughs> So, Claire, what was his plans for it? Well, Dad had a wish to actually build this out and create one of those electric train landscapes. Uh, is Dad still with us? No, no. Unfortunately, Dad passed 18 years ago in oh, sorry, a light yeah. plane crash. It was a big loss. He was a pretty spectacular man. He could fix anything. You know, he had a great brain. And I think Rafe's similar. So that thing in there, that's the electric motor that spins. That's magnetic. That's right, very good. That's how these things work. They work, that's a magnet there. And it puts the north and south pole through there. It makes it go round and round. It's a beautiful train set. I really like it. Dad was a train nut and this set. It's just this beautiful connection from Dad down to, to Rafe. Here he is. How'd you go, mate? Hey, he's good. He's good? <laughs> he's good. He knows the tools. He knows everything about it. Yeah, yeah. What do you want him to work on? I want him to work on the Flying Scotsman. My favourite train. I'll try my best for you, buddy. I'm feeling really excited. See you next time, Ray. Bye, Paul. Bye-bye, mate. Because I might be able to see my train set be fixed. It means a lot because it was my mum's dad. It's one of the only things that I know about him. So I really want it to be fixed so I can see it walking again. Paul has been fixing things all his life. But to get Rafe's train on the tracks, he'll be drawing from 30 years' experience as an electrical technician. The focus for me, for Rafe, is to get the Flying Scotsman going. So we've got a little power supply here. This supplies DC electricity. What we're going to do is we're going to put the volts on and see if we can get going. We can... Ooh, we've got a little bit of movement then, but it seemed to bind up. Mmm, we're not getting any success here. Of course, Rafe wants to get this one going. It's the one he wants. It's trying to, but it's not. Ah, I can see what's happened. The problem I've got is there's components missing between here and here. There's no brush in this side, there's no spring in this side. At this stage, this train will never run in its current condition. If we don't have enough spare parts, it's going to really put a lot of pressure on the project. There's a small amount available online, but it's really, really limited. Paul's strategy now is to salvage parts from another train in the set. I, I like the look of that train. It seems really complete. I think it's the best chance I've got to see if we can get a functioning loco. I'm hoping that we can take enough spare parts off that to see the Flying Scotsman run again.